Welcome, everybody. My name is Mike Toledo, and we are going to talk about the dent on this hood that we are going to cold glue. This is a four out of five difficulty level, mainly because of the crowns that you will see on the outside and the bent lip on the bottom. I'll give you a little bit more magnification here, and if you look uh, carefully, you can tell that that edge is bent. That is one of the problems you will see in this whole tutorial. Now, if you are considering learning, I would check out the three month subscription on denttrainer.com. You get all the benefits of watching all these videos and tool discounts as well. Meanwhile, here's a better and closer look at it. And we are going to start with giving you a multi camera shot. I'm going to prep the panel with this cold glue. And as we are prepping that panel, it's very important that you do keep that panel super clean. That's 91% alcohol, and that is going to make a world of a difference with this cold glue. I'm using Glexo cold glue uh, to be exact. And placing the cold glue is the most important part. I would not want to pull right in the middle. I want to gather some of that metal and create the metal flow going towards the center. That's the reason why you see this. After we're getting done with the main part of this repair, uh, or this pull, you're going to see, well, wow, he doesn't have much left, as you can see here. I do. Actually, my technician, Big John, does. He has, matter of fact, there's a lot of work left. And you won't believe how much is more involved. I'm going to give you just a quick take on the rest of this repair and meanwhile if you're still watching this you'll be able to watch the rest of it on dent trainer if not you'll see a little bit of a trailer all right you see most of it did bring out there's definitely some crown work and some touch-up work if you look at you know this is without putting the light on it but you'll see a little bend in the light in the uh, line of the reflection straighten it out with this so we're using a, just a uh, typical mini lifter um, I actually like this mini lifter it's from Kiko and one thing I'm going to recommend is that you kind of tilt the edge jack a little bit off the edge or towards you because you don't want that foot making contact back on the hollow part of the hood and then you dent it all over again so be aware I'm not going to steer you wrong you're not going to use the resin often. However, when you do need it for circumstances like this, when you can only get a certain diameter of a tool in there and you're risking making push marks and tape won't work, this is exactly why you want to use the Glexo Magic. Yeah, so it's got a nice little resin on there. And John, John wants to protect that tip. So we'll leave him at that. Now what John is doing is probing around the dent. He's trying to feel what is going to give him. Never ever force your pushing. If you are starting to make high spots in your dent in a similar situation like this, chances are you still have to tap down. Pay attention. Pay it. Make sure the board is, is, is broad enough if you're using fog. Make sure the lines are thin enough if you're using lines. The more detail you can tell and read, the better off you're going to be and the less mistakes you will make. Yeah. All right, so at the stage now where we're gonna glue pull some of that crease out. I'll show you what I mean here, okay? So we're trying some new experimental tabs at the time. They are the tequila kind of tracks tab, or I'm not sure what the name, don't quote me on this. And you, and you want to just snug it. You don't, you know, you're not going to try to pull it. You know, make sure it's not pulling the dent up yet. It's just snug. Okay. And John's going to get a nice little. So right now, John's just tapping down those, those pinch marks he made with the, with the uh, glue. And that tap down tip is money. I'm telling you. It's kind of like the same, just kind of between the peewee. I forgot which one that they call that one here. 
Um, this is your all around VIP tap down. I would definitely consider getting that one. Get get both sets. I mean, I'm, you ain't gonna go wrong. And you can see how it's gonna really keep your dents much, much cleaner. All right, here's the, just after we'll throw some lights on it, the LEDs on here. You can see John did a pretty good job. Pretty, pretty dang good, dude. Another happy customer. That's what we wanted, right? We want a happy, happy customer. I'm gonna just switch this up a little bit, dude. That's what we want right there. There's some little bit of flaws there, but you you're getting dent that by the edge. That's good.